Hello everyone, welcome back. One of the best reasons to use Microsoft OneNote and OneNote Class Notebook for productivity and workflow with your students is the ability to build dynamic and interactive content inside of pages, inside of sections, in OneNote. Let me show you how we can build a dynamic page. And keep in mind that students have access to all of these tools as well to build their interactive and dynamic content. So inside of the content library in unit one, I'm going to add a new page. I'm just gonna to come to the very bottom of my pages and add a new page below. And you will see that untitled page. Now, the first thing we're going to do is give this page a title. So I'm going to come up to the very top of the page and we're gonna call this Jacques Cartier Review. Once I enter that title at the top of the blank page, you will see that that page name changes in the left navigation. All right, let's start adding our content. So as I'm sure you already know, you can add text to a page in OneNote or OneNote Class Notebook, and you can format that text. Let's take a closer look. Notice that while I'm in the Home tab or the Home menu, and I've entered text, I can always highlight that text and I can change the font. I can change the size of the font. I can bold, italicize, or underline the font. I can use highlighters to highlight, change the color of the text, and I can even create bulleted lists, numerical lists, and one of my personal favorites, if I come over to tags and click the drop down, I can add check boxes that can be interacted with if I was creating to-do lists. Let's just remove this. All right, now in addition to text, we have the ability to insert a wide variety of content on a page in OneNote class notebook in order to make the page more interactive and dynamic. We're going to start off in the insert menu. Notice here in the insert menu, I have a wide variety of content that I can add to this page. I could build a table within this page. Next to inserting a table, I can insert a file. Notice that I have two options. I can insert a file attachment or insert a file printout. I'll show you both. If I select insert a file attachment, I just simply choose my file from my device and I'll go ahead and click insert and a little PDF icon will be added and those notes on Jacques Cartier will be essentially attached. Students would have to click on this icon to open the PDF in a browser window. But notice that I can also go to File, Dropdown, Insert File Printout, and again, I can choose my file. And let's choose that same PDF, Notes on Jacques Cartier, Open, and click Insert. We'll give that a moment to load, but now we should see that PDF, those notes added to this page in our OneNote class notebook. All right, let's go back. Now, keep in mind that this OneNote class notebook page is a canvas. I can click anywhere on the canvas to continue adding content. So let's go ahead and add a picture of the Gulf of St. Lawrence to this particular page. So I'm gonna select picture and notice that I can select from file. I can use my webcam on my Chromebook or my device, or I can select from online. I'm gonna go ahead and select from online and I'm gonna do a Bing search for a map of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. And what's nice about this is that notice that it only shows me Creative Commons results. So in other words, it gives me uh, results uh, that I can use in my notes or on my page. 
So let's go ahead and select the following image and I'll simply click insert to add that image to this canvas or this page. And we'll just scroll over. All right, so, so far we have added a table, added a file attachment or printout, and we've added a picture. Now notice that we can also insert a link. So I'm gonna copy the link to this Padlet, Impacts of French Explorers, and we are going to add that link to our page in OneNote Class Notebook. So again, in the insert menu, I would simply just click insert link and I would go ahead and paste that address and then I would go ahead and type in a title under display text that I would like to appear on this page. And we'll go ahead and select insert and that link has been added. Now, notice what happens when I add a link to a YouTube video. So I have a YouTube video here about Jacques Cartier. I'm going to click share to get that link. We'll simply click copy. And now I'll go back to my OneNote class notebook. And I can simply, on my keyboard, I can press Control V to paste that in. Notice when I hit enter, we'll give that a moment, OneNote actually embeds that video right onto the page. Next, in our insert menu, we have the ability to record audio notes. So I could go ahead and let's go down to one of our note slides. And by this note slide, let's go ahead and add in an audio recording. So I'll just simply click on the page or the canvas and I'll go ahead and click on audio. And I will allow my device to record my microphone. And now I can start recording. And I could explain how when Cartier and his men met the Mi'kmaq, in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, it was the first known written account of trade between an indigenous group or First Nations group and uh, Europeans. Once I'm finished my recording, I would simply click stop and an audio recording icon will be added to my OneNote and I can move that around so I could put that right on the slide. And now when students are interacting with the content, they could simply click on the audio recording to hear the recorded note. Keep in mind that your students can make audio recordings as well on pages in OneNote Class Notebook. All right, let's go back to the insert menu one more time. One more thing I wanna show you, you can also embed Microsoft Forms. So I am going to simply come up to the insert menu and click on forms. Now, if forms is asking you to sign in and you are having no luck accessing forms for OneNote, simply open your OneNote class notebook in browser. When you do, it's going to launch inside of a Chrome tab or your browser tab. And now let's try to insert that form. So again, I'll click somewhere on the page where I want to insert that form. And in the insert menu, I'll simply click on the forms icon and now it should load properly. Here I can see a list of all my recent quizzes and forms that I have built in Microsoft Forms. Notice that you can always click new form or create a new quiz, and that will redirect you to Microsoft Forms to build that quiz or formative task. But I already have an assessment for learning task here, Jacques Cartier review, and I want to insert or embed this form on my page in my OneNote class notebook. So I'm simply going to click insert and that's originally gonna start as a link, but if I close this, notice that it actually adds that form right onto the page, and my students will be able to interact with this form. They'll be able to actually input their answers and submit the form to see how they did on their review. All right, so we have taken a close look at a variety of ways we can add content 
to make a page interactive and dynamic in our OneNote class notebook. In our next video, we are going to take a closer look at how we can distribute a page or groups of pages to our individual students' OneNote class notebooks.